Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Yellowfin Yachts. Hey gang, today I'm in Central Florida. I'm in Polk County. We're at the Stream Song Resort. My good friend Tyler Ramsdale's put me on the bass. Whatever you guys do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. Tyler and I splashed a boat this morning in a, in a very unique place. This is an absolutely incredible property out here at the Streamsong Resort. The bass fishing is really, really good. We're out here first thing in the morning. We're going to try and catch these guys before they drop off into the deep. It's summertime. Water temps are high, so fishing is going to be best, again, first thing in the morning here and then later on this evening. So we're going to see if we can catch them for breakfast. Now, first thing in the morning, they're kind of uptight like this usually. Yeah. And usually, uh, when I guess the sun comes up a little bit, they'll head out to deeper water, which we're going to fish in a second. Working the pads this morning, huh? Uh-oh, fish on, huh? Look at you, showing up the host. This little guy. Oh boy. Flip him right in here. That a boy. There's an opener. Good morning. Little guy. Bigger ones to come. Nice one. Nice fish, yeah. Speaking of fun stuff. <laughs> Look at that beauty, huh? Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Come here, Betsy. Ah, stay out of my trolling motor. Come here. Look at that beauty, huh? a nice fish. That is a nice fish. That's a way to open, huh? Captain Mike arrives on the scene at Stream Song with his first bass of the morning. Solid, nice three pounder. Nicely done, my friend. Right on that hump, just yeah. like you said, yeah. too. Cool fish. We all know that bass fishing is not my forte, so if Tyler can put me on him, he can definitely put you on him. <laughs> and we've been very fortunate as well. Every trip that we've taken out here at Stream Song has actually caught a fish. Every boat, um, which not many fishing charters can say, especially with bass, because you know they can shut off real easily. So you've never been in the shutout mode? Correct. Huh? No, nope, we've never been skunked. Uh, nice. We got a little Florida sun shower. A rainbow. Yeah. That is good. Nice calm lake. Now, how did he hit it? Did he eat it? Three eat it? taps. No, no. It was just, and you see, he hit it pretty close to the boat as well, too. So, so he might have followed it out. Oh yeah, it? absolutely. And I think the splash when it first hits the water kind of attracts him a lot too. Right. And then I let it sink right when it hits the the lily pads. Um, let it get straight down, yeah, and then just kind of work it. it a little bit. Oh yeah. Bounced off the bottom a little bit. He did. It is a nice fish. KBD, swimming caffeine shad, every time. <laughs> and it, you know what's the unique thing about this? Oop, perfect release. Oh, where'd it go? There we are. The, uh, you know, you've seen me catch tons and tons of snook, tons of redfish, tons of trout on the exact same bait, rigged exactly the same way. It's a swimming caffeine shad, KBD, actually designed this bait for the fresh water and all I did was take it to the salt water with me. It's available in your bass section of most of your tackle stores and uh, it's a great bait for both, for snook, redfish, trout and for bass as you can see. Cool bait.
Closed captioning brought to you by Gator 4. We opened the morning by fishing a, a hump. According to Tyler, you got about 20 to 30 feet of water in most of this lake. And Tyler has a hump with some rocks and stuff on it. Comes up to about 10 feet. We pulled three nice fish off of there. And now we're just working some more edges here. As you can see, a lot of these edges are still in the shadows. The sun's not up real high yet. Keeps this water in these areas cool. So now in the morning, some of these fish may still be staged up here tight. So that's what we're doing right now is trying to pull some fish out of a little shallower water on the edges. Well, as we're fishing the lily pads and the structure here on the edge of this lake, we need to go back to fishing weedless, which is what I was doing this morning. Just a weedless bass hook, the bullet weight. Again, we're fishing in kind of deep water, so we've got a pretty good size weight on here. And I'm gonna use the Strike King rage tail cutter worm. It's got kind of a unique tail on it. Makes some bubbles and some action underneath the water there and green is one of the colors that Tyler likes on this particular lake so I caught a fish on this bait earlier so we're gonna go back to it now so as to make it a little easier to work these lily pads. There's one. He ran with that. He did. Cool fish though. And if you get it on their nose with that cave, that rage tail cutter worm, they just pound it. And there's a gator right in front of you too. Oh, look at that. He wants to eat this, doesn't he? May want to drop him on the other side. Yeah, you don't get this. We don't feed you, buddy. No, no. You got your own pets out here, Tyler. Yeah. I don't think that's part of the stream song petting zoo, though. Oh, he hit that right Oh, nice. Oh, wow, that is a good fish. Had a boy. Oh, that's the deal. Now I got Tyler figured out. I just, we just, oh, that's a good one. Don't mean to get you wet. No, you're good. Please, it's hot out. Tire him out a little bit. <laughs> Dude, that's a nice fish. He hit that right by the boat. Woo! Purple. That purple color. Let me see if I can land it. Oh, yeah, look at that bad boy. Wow. Nice fish, a little bigger, huh? Than the ones we've been catching yeah, this morning. Yeah, a little more weight to them. Mm -hmm. Nice fish, a boy. Wow. I want one of those so I can get my picture taken with him. Good three, job. Three to two. Three to two, I got you, buddy. Coming back. Three to two, game <laughs> on. I fish a lot, but obviously, Bass fishing is not my <laughs> profession or forte, as you can tell by the struggles I'm having with my baitcaster here today. But, you know, if, if a guy like me who obviously fishes but doesn't bass fish a lot can come in here and catch some really nice fish, you know, somebody with just a little fishing experience can come in here and do pretty good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've taken a lot of guests who've never even touched a fishing pole before and they've actually caught a lot of fish. And um, surprisingly enough, those are the, the guests that actually end up catching the biggest ones. Which always... Well, you know, the expectations are low. You know, when you don't fish a lot, you, you, you don't get too excited. You tend to listen to the guide a little more. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Put them in the right spots. <laughs> right, those of us that think we know what we're doing, we, we screw it up for everybody. I don't know if they're tapping it or if I'm just, no, well, I think you got that one, you think? Oh yeah. I think he whacked that one. For sure. Man. Horrible. If they don't get the hook at all, they'll keep hitting it too. Nice Boy, pitch. that was a really slow presentation right there. Yeah. I was really short hopping it. Woohoo! Ha ha! That's the big one of the day. Huh? You think? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's bigger than the one you got. I'm not going there. I know it's four to two. That's what I know. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if it's bigger than yours, but I know it's four to two. That's yeah, definitely close. You know what's cool about that one was I was really working it slow. Come here. I was really working it slow. Just kind of short hopping it on the bottom. And again, it, it's really the key and it's one of the hardest things I think for a saltwater guy like myself who didn't do a lot of bass fishing growing up to really learn 
is that, you know, just walking that worm on the bottom, really taking your time, is something that, that really can pay off. Really pay off. Dude, did he crush that? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Great by oh the boat. <laughs> Look at that. That's, a, that's a big fish. He absolutely crushed that. That was like a topwater explosion. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. Wow. Wow, that's a nice <laughs> fish. There goes Buddy. One. Look at that. Oh, and look at the, he just threw up what he's Two been eating, brim. little <laughs> little baits, yeah. He had a belly full and still could not. Oh yeah, come here, look at that, baby. That's why you come to Central Florida to go bass fishing at Stream Song, right there. Welcome to Stream Song, a new kind of resort in Central Florida. A resort where golf is both a quest for perfection and an art form, where the streams and pristine lakes offer unparalleled fishing, and the beauty of the lakeside lodge and clubhouse is as dramatic as the surrounding environment. A place where the guest rooms are private sanctuaries and the surrounding ecosystems are as deeply valued as the time you'll spend there. Stream Song Resort, located in inland Central Florida, is an unexpected escape for discerning travelers who crave a personalized resort experience in an inspiring natural setting. Absolutely an incredible morning here at the Streamsong Resort. Tyler's had us on fish here for a while. I've got five really nice fish, nice five pounder in the boat. Absolutely some epic crushes, just crushing baits right next to the boat. Just really, really cool alligators and just everything you want in nature here in Central Florida is at our fingertips here this morning. It's a, a beautiful day, absolutely incredible. Tyler's doing a great job. So Tyler, you, you spent a little time fishing with Kevin Van Dam, huh? Yeah, um, I won uh, a New Hampshire youth fishing tournament. It was called the STQT on Lake Winnipesaukee and you get a fish with a, a Bassmaster Pro for a summer. He drew out of a hat and I was about 14, this was probably 10 years ago. And uh, I got KV, KVD, uh, one wow. of the best fishermen of all time. And uh, yeah, I fished with about 20 tournaments that whole summer. Uh, no kidding. Yes. What an so I learned more than I'll ever learn in that one summer than yeah, you think? my whole life, yeah. Dropped a bomb on that one. The little guy. All shapes and sizes. The little cut, you know what? I mean, in every fishery, that's it's good, good to see these fish. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's your future six, seven yeah. pounder right there. He's got some nice belly on him, too. Mm -hmm. Good and full. Ain't been starving. There's plenty of bait in here for him to eat. Still could not resist the Rage Tail Cutter Worm. You send a far one down that channel as far as you can go. Yeah, it's a slay one. Really? Yeah. yeah I, I don't think I have those capabilities. <laughs> like I said, not very no, far that's not bad. for the bait caster, but yeah, I got one. Nice one. <laughs> wow, a double, baby. Right here where you said, oh, too. Oh, <laughs> right here where you said, too. Look at that. Yeah, you want nice me to let one. this one go? So no, it's no, seven no, to no, two? you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, huh? Just how you said, too. Make a shot down this little cut, and sure enough, one ate it. It's almost like you've done this before. Yeah, two times. <laughs> too cool. A nice one too. Doubled up on him that time. The action is hot here at Stream Song. How many lakes do you actually have here that people could fish? Yeah, we have so, twenty, about twenty-one lakes on property, and there's wow. about eight we can get into to fish. Um, okay. And since opening, we've just fished this main lake here, which has. This is the medium lake. We have two other lakes that connect to it with canals. Um, and we just have so much success here, we don't really have to switch it up. And we take, we, like, we fish this hard for a week, we'll take, let this sit for two weeks and not touch it. We'll fish the other two lakes so we don't, you know, so overfish over it. Yeah, overfish it. And, and obviously, like, we don't, I'm guessing this is all catch and release? Strict, yeah, strictly, strictly catch, catch and release. And release. Yep. Nice. And, if, and if, we're, if a big one's on the line for a while, we'll put them back in the water, you know, um, put a little air through them, a little fresh water on top. and. Uh, 
let them go back um, nice and healthy like the way they came in. Nice. Oh, dude, you got rolled up. Get him out of there, Tyler. Get him out of there, Chief. Nice. Yeah, he's out. Woo, look at that. Oh, you had to go and show me up, didn't you? Yeah. You had to go and show me up. Oh, That's man, look at that. He just spit that. some more bait fish. He did, too. Yeah. Oh, maybe he didn't show me up, but it's, he got that one out of the weeds, and I couldn't get mine out of the weeds. Nicely done, my friend. Look at that fish there. Woo! Huh? Pretty bass. Good swell. He hit that. Wasn't that a cool boil? He hit that hard. He, they jumped on it in there. That worm hits the edge of them lily pads, and they are in there hungry. Wow. Get him out of boy. Nice job, Tyler. Kind a boy. Right out of that corner, you said there might be one. Yeah. So weird. Little guy. Hey. Nice fish. Take it all day. <laughs> yeah. Little guy. But a sporty fella. That same spot, I just missed one. Went right back in there and caught this one. There's a whole bunch of fish hanging right on that edge. Like you said, as that water comes in here and then it deepens up, they're hanging on that little edge right there. I let that drop down to the bottom. He lumped it. What was that? That was a fish. Hmm? Bass fishing in Central Florida. Good stuff right there. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, I was using 13 fishing, seven foot, one inch, Omen and Envy black casting rods. I was using Quantum Smoke SL100 bait casting reels with 20 pound monofilament line. We were throwing Strike King KVD swimming caffeine shads in baby bass on 3 8 ounce Strike King jig heads and the Strike King Rage Tail Cutter Worm in Watermelon Red Flake. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. 13 fishing, make your own luck. Mirror Lure, the record setter. I'm at the beautiful Stream Song Resort here in Polk County, Florida. I'm with Tom Sunnerbork. He is the Vice President of Land Development and Management here at Stream Song Resort. Tom, give me a little Give me a little history on, and I know there's only a little history on the resort itself, but give me what we do have. This particular site where Streamsong is now has been an uh, uh, active phosphate mine for probably 60 or 70 years. Oh, wow. So there's a long history of, of mining on this site. The site is absolutely beautiful. It's unbelievable. It's, it's not natural, but nature has overtaken this site. And that's part of why we did this uh, project, so that, so that we could bring the public onto what is formerly mined property right. and see what our reclamation efforts have been able to do and what nature does. The old timers tell me that this lake right here, uh, it's called Little, Little Payne Creek, is the best bass fishing in the state of Florida. Right. Is, is right here on the doorstep of the Streamsong Lodge. We manage the lake, but we don't stock it. Okay. Um, I think it became so good because the lake is deep. Sure. Um, but also that it's been very limited uh, access. These lakes were private. Right. Um, but now this, this lake and a few others on, on property are available to our guests as part of our, our uh, recreation program here at Streamsong. And obviously it's world-class golf. Yes. Um, world-class bass fishing, sporting clays. Yes. So you got clays. I, I don't, I, I'm ready to bring my wife and come stay <laughs> Please this do. weekend. I can't wait. Thank you so much for an absolutely incredible, incredible day. As we moved up here and fished the edges, probably six, seven, eight feet of water, just as it starts to drop off into the deeper parts of these lakes along the lily pads, that's where all the fish have been staged up. With several nice fish this morning, we've lost some really good fish. Just an absolutely incredible day. It's still really early in the morning. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. We started early, but you know, we've done a good amount of fishing, but still in the, in the fairly cool part of the day. See his approach here was to fish in this canal with him on the front of the boat so that I couldn't cast and that would make it harder for me to catch a fish and he could catch up. I see you work. You see the tricks? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> young Mr. Ramsdale. Oh boy, Tyler. That's, that's nice. a better fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a better fish. He hit that about four times too. Oh. Oh, double up, baby. Double up. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> double them up. Oh. Double them up. Double them up. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ooh, that's a good fish there, Tyler. There you go. Look at Tyler. That's what we come for right there. Look at that pretty that's fish. Nice that's a good fish. Ain't nothing wrong with this one either. It's gonna be as big as Tyler's. Two fish, same time. A boy. Huh? That a boy. A couple generations. A couple of generations. Tyler Ramsdell, thank you so much. What a great, great gig, my friend. Enjoyed that. What a great day on the water. Tyler Ramsdell, absolutely incredible day on the water. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic bass fishing, my friend. Great job. If you can yeah. put me on fish, you can put anybody on fish, yeah. my friend. That's for sure. <laughs> if you're coming anywhere near Central Florida, and we certainly hope you do, we hope you'll come visit the Stream Song Resort. My good friend Tyler here will put you on some great bass from Central Florida. For more information, you can go to the website, Real Animals Fishing Team. Dot com. If you want to book your fishing trip of a lifetime, we can hook you up here with Tyler. You can come out here to Stream Song and catch these beautiful bass. And give us a call at 1-866-GAMEFISH. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, don't let your kid be the one that got away. <laughs> <laughs>